Captain I've always wondered. Oh, hi there, Rapture! Come here a minute! Ray Enda augured your son's future. Ray has threats! Greetings, Simon. Lugas decided to let you go. Nay, it was me decided to leave. Time's come to settle some scores, and you're gonna help me. A favor for a favor, remember? You owe me a debt. Pay it, or cover you and your whole line with shame. Gotta tell me what it's about first. And I say you needn't know. It's honor bind you to do what I say. Do whatever I fancy asking you. My line doesn't have too rosy a future anyway. But never mind that. What do I do? There's a lake here on Ard Skellig, near Blandair. A lone hut on its shore. We'll meet there. It's where I tell you what comes next. Don't tarry long, or you'll have me thinking you're trying to weasel out. And you don't want Simon Branding to be thinking that. Thick brambling, but that thick! To waltz and to me. Who the hell's this? Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He's come to kill ye. What did he do to you, Simon? Me? To him? Twas him that did me wrong. Her son killed me, brother. Tricked him, betrayed him. I swore revenge. Hunted him across all the isles. Bugger always got away somehow. So now that is. High time we end this strife. Once and for all, no more questions, Geralt. Cut him down! Out of the question, Simon. I'm no murderer. Not gonna kill him. Then you'll die at his side. Smell a card. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? For a minute there. For a minute, I thought you'd do it. Thought you'd kill me. Lucky for you, I have a different notion of honor than you Skelligers. Prefer to thank folk with a bottle of something strong, not murder. Tell no one what happened here, Witcher. Simon's got a spearside cousin on Speaker Rock. He learns what you've done here. He'll vow blood revenge. Won't rest till... Enough. Not another word about pride, feuds, or bonds of kinship. You can kill each other without my help from now on. Swinging it, eh? It is Norgan's birthday tomorrow. I have no clue what to get. Maybe I'm not sure. Master Geralt, a guard spotted you from the tower. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent? No. Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. <laughs> I've as much right to it as you do! And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it 
Should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it? Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time you crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilgards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Ah, oh, stop your shite boasting! Cyrus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so. so. Well, stubborn, fierce, mule headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Ceres, we're near twins in that regard. Don't see Crack. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilcarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Last night was spent. May your action ever crumble. Try me! Best blade's uh -huh. not worth uh -huh. shit if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Ah. <laughs> like Jim's white uh. arse. Uh. Uh. Yalmar, can you? Oh, seal shit! Take a look. Still got all my teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. Huh. Doubt it. That's so? Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the Vild Carls and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. Vild Carls? Who are they? Ah, uh, those wild men. Live in the hills. Shepherds then? Aye, without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, wolf! Heard you're taking on challengers in fistfights. Challengers? Ah, nay. Nah. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly. Fuck. Tear him apart. Not too late to surrender. Good. Hard. Oh, what a fight. Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. Well, lost the wager. But that was such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. Those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Something I've always wondered. What are you? Heard you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Challengers? Ah, nay. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly. You beg for death. <laughs> Surrender.
you that good. Hard. Just warming up. Well, what are you waiting for? Go call the next one. You'd never have beat me if I weren't five tankards in. Then bring on someone sober. Think you can find one? I can. Night's still young. I smell blood! Stop! <laughs> You fight good for a continental. May your axe never crumble. Last night was beautiful. Friends, we show the black ones. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king, by the grace of votes, is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking? Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is! Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, naught else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Bran's memory. 
And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrager instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. <laughs> They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalmar. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you, for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Hear that? Damn it! That must have started another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go. Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak! Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I will not stand for this. Then come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives, but we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crete, find and kill them. 
else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. That can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them. I promise. Know who died? Drogadar, Drakeborn Dew, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Pull yourself together, Senna. It's a shot! Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. We have here bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur, mead, and something else, something earthy. Bears like honey before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur, a tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. Autrig. Shit, no more than a kid. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stangrim, maybe? Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards... mushrooms? Bowls empty. 
of the scents in the air, coming from somewhere else in this room. Here, meat spiked with some kind of mushroom, and human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The Skald's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. I think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Hjort might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Freyr, our mother, may the sea swallow the traitors. Freyr, our lady... Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said... Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Mardrom related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrom were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I help prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, needs gotta flow, but so does blood. Might say he does his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight.
Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. To keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below, come, I'll show you. Spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. Right behind you. That's a relief. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! Another exit behind the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. God, we might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. Medallion's humming. It's a secret message. Oh, it's gonna be. When Yalmar and I were ready, we flew here. Once. Ah. Bygone days. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. <laughs> 